I would also like for young uh, blacks to understand that about 83% of all employment happen with small businesses. And uh, <coughs> excuse me, if you don't have a small business, then you have nobody to work for you. And I would say to young blacks, get into entrepreneurship. We will never catch up with white America till we get into business. Hello, good people. And of course, this is Fred from Africa. Guys, if you're watching us for the first time, please request that you subscribe, comment, and share our videos. And of course, I love you so much. Receive much greetings from Mother Africa. Now, I've come across some, new video, some video here of uh, Dick Gregory. As you all know, Dick Gregory died in 2017 at the age of 84. In this video, Dick Gregory has is seen pouring wisdom to African Americans who do not want to invest. He has given some, some of the best approaches to give a business whatever you want to do business. Okay, so guys, let's watch this video, then come back and give our opinions concerning the advice that has been given by Mr. Dick Gregory. You don't forget to ring the bell because you will be notified anytime we do a new video. You'll be the first person to be notified or be informed that we've just dropped a new video. Let's dive in and watch this video. I don't make the mistake that most of your mothers and fathers made. When I wake up in the morning, my prayer is not thank God I woke up. The Ku Klux Klan woke up this morning. The drug pushers woke up this morning. I thank God that I made another 24 hours in the most vicious, nasty, hateful, insane nation that's ever existed with my wits, without hating, without being bitter, and without being mean. And I thank God that I survived. 24 hours in that type of atmosphere with the, with, the, with, with the type of amusement and friendliness. And, and so I would say to young folks, um, don't be in a state of denial of the racism and sexism, but don't let that block you. Don't teach your children that you have to be twice as good as a white. That's an awful thing to teach your child. Mm -hmm. That's like saying because I you're agree. black, uh, white America has a right to change your dollar for 94 cents. But we used to get 50 cents, and before that we used to get nothing. <clears throat> Young folks have to say, we don't want more change for a dollar. <clears throat> Excuse me, we want a full dollar's change for a dollar or this cash register will never ring again. Yes. I would also like for young uh, blacks to understand that about 83% of all employment happen with small businesses. And uh, <coughs> excuse me, if you don't have a small business, then you have nobody to work for you. And I would say to young blacks, get into entrepreneurship. We will never catch up with white America till we get into business because there's a thing called tax write-offs. And if you have a job and come together, 10 of you, and open up a corporation and have somebody run it, you hire somebody to run it, but you have tax write-offs. 98% of people that fly first class on airplanes would not be there if that wasn't a write-off. And yet, on that first class, they gave away last year $800 million, almost a billion dollars of free whiskey. But if a welfare mother asked for some apple juice for the baby, mm -hmm. she's laughed at. Mm -hmm. And so I would say entrepreneurship. And then understand that we will never survive as a group until we get into communities and not neighborhoods. Mm -hmm. A community is, I control the police, the banks, the schools, the firefighters, and I control the flow of the money. And I have no problem when I go in a Jewish neighborhood and the shop owners are Jewish and I go into an Italian neighborhood and the shop owners are Italian. I have a problem when I come in a black neighborhood and the shop owners is not me. Uh, a Korean has a right to come in 
and buy my shop for $30 million more than it's worth. That's good business. But if we decide that we're not going to do business with that one, then he'll have to sell it back or she'll sell it back to a black person <laughs> for a million dollars. <laughs> yes. And then the money circulates and circulates, and that's how you change. We've been so busy dealing with the hurt and the pain and the misery and glamorizing a hand few that have made it that we have never really looked at, like they say, your role model. If you haven't got a role model in your house, you should fall on your knees and yes. pray to God because something is wrong. Yes. And, and, and so I would say to young folks, it's not about alcohol, but it's hard for me to say that to you when a five-year-old got to reach past mama's beer and papa's wine to get some mayonnaise. I would also say to young folks that the number one drug that will wipe you out is not cocaine, it's not heroin, it's marijuana, and they deliberately make that a recreation drug, but it stays in the muscles, it stays in the blood, and it will wipe out your memory bank. And also, this is the first time in the history of TB that TB has always been known as poor folks. It's the first time that TB is not running rampant in the ghetto. It's running rampant in middle-income white America because it's the marijuana that they spray, and that's no accident. And so I would just say to young folks, you have to reevaluate everything you've been taught. I would say to the black folks that just because a black person is 90 years old don't mean they have wisdom and you need to listen to them because if you was dumb and stupid when you was nine, you're dumb and stupid when you're 90. So after watching this video guys, I want to know what you think about Mr. Dick Gregory's advice or message to the African Americans and to the investors who want to invest in a business. You know, business is one of the best employers so far because your business will never fire you. But your employer, you wake up one day, then you find a letter that you are fired. So in this case, he's advising people to invest in businesses because business are the best. I'm also advising people that uh, who want to do business because myself and I'm a businessman and uh, I've uh, I've been surviving with this business for since 2020 when Corona uh, hit the world and uh, I was fired and they wanted to reduce the number of the of, of workers so that some can work at home but with us you are just told that we'll be called until to date you are, we have not received any call and we are in 2024 that's four years now so i have a good experience of doing business because i have been surviving that business for four years now this is my fourth year okay so I can advise someone on how to do business, things to do and things that you should not involve yourself in when you want to do business. Okay, so guys, let's try ourselves. Even if we have uh, unemployment, let's make our businesses our side hustles. So once we leave job and uh, uh, maybe we, we are on a, on a holiday, we spend most of our time in our businesses. Your business needs your presence. That's why after after job, uh, go and spend some of the some of your day or your time in your business for the business to feel your presence. So I also can give some advices to the the people who want to do business. Business is good, and business uh, you'll never run out of finance. You'll never beg. You'll never ask people to give to send you money because after all, at the end of the day, you have something that is giving you money. Okay, like me, for example, I have something somewhere that's giving me money, so I don't have to beg for assistance or for money because at the end of the day, I get something small from my business, and that business is sustaining me and my family. So, guys, I advise people that want to do business, especially in Africa. Africa has got varieties and opportunities of business. Okay, come and invest in business. Come here with new ideas because Africa needs people who are business oriented, who can uh, come up with the business opportunities, then employ people who are jobless. Because Africans, uh, we are we are suffering in terms of job opportunities because we don't have jobs in Africa. Jobs are there, but there are they are occupied by old people. For example, the government jobs. 
the government jobs are occupied by old people they don't want to retire and even if they retire they bring in their own people to work in their positions so you see you will never get that position or that space when your person okay or your relative was not in that company or organization so the only uh, thing that you need to do is business you can say that i have looked for jobs and i cannot find a job i'm done with this life i'm tired i'm just going to commit suicide because i have got no reason uh, to live in this world god made everybody with a purpose okay and if you if your purpose is not in employment it means you need to try something else for you to survive don't give up in life because giving up in life is giving devil a chance to control you so i, adv I will advise people to do businesses let's try and involve ourselves in businesses because businesses are the best employers so far even though you, you meet some challenges when you try to do business, when you do business, but challenges are part of business because they make you strong in that same business. So I advise people to try and look for some side hustle, like a business that will help you or not. You will never run out of money. Okay. So guys, that's my advice. And I also love uh, listening to uh, Dr. Gregory's uh, advices uh, as far as investment is concerned because I've been reading some of his books. So I also advise people to read his books. Okay, Those books are so motivational and, uh, and they teach us a lot. So I love you so much guys and let's meet again in our next video.